yes they are our kids so here's a video of our attempt to completely remodel our bathroom hope you enjoy it this is the sheetrock that we replaced we demoed it and just started over where it needed repairs so uh, this does include the $200 does include sheetrock if you need and tape and uh, those supplies join compound as well that is waterproof sheetrock by the way and on the left and the right is regular and we learn to sand and tape and float as they call it the whole process together as a family we are calling this DIY because by no means are we professionals but in the end we are very pleased with it um, we started with tiling the floor we did not remove the old tiles um, we decided to go with peel and stick tiles and this particular design was on Amazon and I think they're like 13 bucks a box and you get 20 in a box and you just remove the adhesive and sti uh, stick them on by this being the bathroom though we later found out that um, they're not too moisture resistant so you can reinforce them with uh, I chose Gorilla Glue and it worked really really well so far it's been about a month and a half so as a matter of fact we've done some other places in the house and so far they have stuck really good against that wall there that's where the sink will go which we already have and we do have a vanity so we just upcycled those things uh, we did purchase another vanity used for about 15 bucks and we upcycled it as well with wallpaper also from Amazon for about nine dollars a roll and I think we used one roll of wallpaper and two boxes of the floor tile I used the floor tiles um, in other places on the wall as well so this is just sticking the tiles on there and that was like I said really easy we finished up probably in about 45 minutes and the hardest part was cutting and fitting around the toilet <laughs> which we later took off because I wanted to paint it black the whole process with remodeling the bathroom should have taken maybe about a week um, because we don't have experience but it ended up taking about uh, maybe three weeks just because we got kiddos and a life so it took a lot longer than we expected we learned a lot of stuff along the way but um, I'm glad we did it and we had a lot of fun so this is me just sticking them on there um, against that wall is uh, concrete so I just put floorboards to even the wall out the floor out rather so that I can apply the tiles and we didn't go all the way to the wall again because nobody's gonna see that part I think the directions call for you to go in the middle of the floor start off in the middle and if anybody knows why please feel free to tell me I didn't do that but I didn't have any problems uh, with not doing it either I just kind of tiled my way out of the bathroom and it worked really well so far don't judge me this is still new for us <laughs> but uh, here are the tiles in place getting on down through there and there's the cabinet um, we went ahead and I applied wallpaper like I said over the doors and at the bottom and then we added another vanity we found one just like it for about fifteen dollars which was cool we have a really long sink and we ended up painting it black so there I am so far we were gonna paint the the whole wall red but in the middle of it I decided we had some black paint so we did the top red and the bottom black oh look at that door um 
the red paint we got like a pint from Walmart and it was eight bucks and they mix it for you that hole in the wall there is where the old medicine cabinet went and um, I just took a mirror that I had off my daughter's dresser and we painted it black and we covered that area with a dresser mirror and then we installed a new medicine cabinet on the side as soon as you walk in the bathroom so it was really inexpensive because a lot of things we just upcycled we kept and we upcycled there's the bathroom when paint is done floors are done and I decided to make the toilet black why not uh, it just didn't look right so I figured uh, Rust-Oleum makes appliance epoxy for about four dollars a can <laughs> why not paint the toilet black and it came out really really nice uh, I think we used about two or three cans um, again I had uh, I think the sink was like a brownish marble one of those long 60 inch sinks or uh, yeah 60 inch sinks so we painted it black I knew I was gonna paint the sink black I did not know about the toilet but I'm glad I did this was really cool black toilets are very expensive more than I wanted to pay for a toilet so I'm glad we were able to do this for about fifteen dollars and uh, because it's spray paint I didn't know how effective it would be or how long it would last again this is our kids bathroom I went ahead and went over it with uh, polyurethane and that was about ten dollars too for a pint over at your Walmart store but uh, again it came out really nice it took about 30 minutes or so to cover the entire toilet um, I don't recommend doing it outside I do for the ventilation purposes but it was really dusty so it ended up the dust and the dirt and debris ended up sticking to it so I had to wipe it a few times before I applied the polyurethane but we let it dry for about 18 to 20 hours overnight and then we applied the polyurethane and it made it really shiny and glossy and pretty and it also kind of protects it I guess from getting dented up and scratched really quick and uh, we let that dry for about 24 hours too so about two to three days before we were able to before I was comfortable enough to let the kiddos use the toilet and turn the water back on this is the completed product uh, we also got the shower curtain for about twenty dollars I went ahead and painted the baseboards red which we had already there's my sink uh, and there's the floor tiles that we applied on the walls and the plants I just added from the living room the rugs were also about twenty dollars from Amazon and it all came together really nicely there's the dresser mirror here's some more footage and the curtain matched perfectly so we are really pleased with how it came out I think it looks really cute and that was just a planners box that I had around and I hung it on the wall and stuck some plants in there I like DIY and remodeling because it's just kind of no rules to it and you learn as you go I had no idea what we were gonna do and uh, it just kind of all came together I guess once I knew the checker pattern and the kiddos wanted something black and red so it's a long way from Mickey Mouse but um, <laughs> I think it came out just just as well and it's been about six weeks since we did this so it seems to be holding up except for having to go in and apply more glue to the tiles also we will leave a link in the description box of how much everything costed uh, again it was under two hundred dollars with the sheetrock this is the picture of the door which was horrible before we just painted it black again we are people of true talent and spirit and if you are please subscribe to our channel like and share if you care to
Three out, peace!